Hi Mike, it's uh, Lawrence KL7L here. Early April, <laughs> Alaska. Uh, I had a question to do with thrust bearings and I know you've re read up on the, uh, the 065, but here's a little bit more information. Uh, the NA4RR has suffered no ills through this winter. I did take it down in the autumn and uh, tighten up one of the slip rings um, but um, these uh, are not thrust bearings these are just interference fit that comes with the uh, the TM uh, 40 mast um, but uh, thrust bearings so uh, this is my way of doing it I'm not exactly saying it's right this is the GS 065 which we uh, have been talking about you can see it's got some length to it which means that uh, it can support vertical weight and it also stops the mast bending it sits uh, inside and i really hope the screen doesn't twist this time um the where are we i can't even see it with my eyes there we go the shims inside here two bolts push against the shims putting pressure on the pole and uh, on four sides, making sure that the pole is centrally against, uh, centrally located against the thrust bearing. The thrust bearing itself is bolted to this quarter inch aluminium plate, which is supported by the steel frame. Uh, the, um, there's a ball race inside here. And so the inside can rotate, this remains fixed. All the vertical weight of the mast and guying and the hex beam is taken up by um, this thrust bearing so it's just a vertical weight and a bit of uh, lateral stuff because it's got a bit of vertical to stop it twisting that way it's taken up and supported by this uh, four by four treated pole and this monstrosity of a support system which you see here uh, the pole itself goes through a hole which I cut out on the aluminium plate and goes down to um, the thrust bearing, sorry, the rotator, which is this uh, Yesu rotator. And the same sort of thing there. There's a um, aluminium plate, uh, which the rotator's bolted to. And um, there's le very little weight, vertical weight on the rotator itself, just the, uh, the rotational torque, I suppose, around the, the pole itself so most of the the weight and stress is on here now there is a, a younger brother of the uh, the bearing which is this one here which is and I hope again the screen doesn't turn around this is the GSO 50 same sort of idea these would be bolted to the aluminium plate and the top half rotates or vice versa um, again, this one's got a, sing, a single pinch point, if you like, so it doesn't, uh, again, this one could, could be, you could put, um, on the edges here, you can put uh, little clamps and, and uh, put your uh, guide points off here, uh, and this could actually replace, this, this could replace uh, one of those up there, but I didn't want to increase the, the weight, whoops, my hand out of the way, the weight of the uh, the mast so we uh, we we used what came with it and greased these up a bit and it stayed up as you know as you know it's not uh, it's not fallen down for four or five years so that's that's how we do it here um it works uh, we had a really really rough winter the winds were awful um we had five days of storm force winds and yeah, everything uh, looks pretty good. In fact, it doesn't look much different to when we installed it, does it really? And uh, the NA4RR is still up there and still working well. That's it. I'll wish you seven threes and I uh, hope you have a great project and uh, get that hex beam up in the air. Seven threes from Alaska, early April. You wouldn't believe it. KL7L.